I've been using this Fujifilm X-H2S as my main camera for my YouTube videos since the day I received it and I was very satisfied with it. But now after more than a year of having this as a main camera, it's time for a change. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. If you are here for the first time, I'm Photoraps. I make videos about photography, filmmaking, camera tech related reviews, unboxings, action cams, vlogging kits and so on. If you are interested in these topics, I highly appreciate if you go subscribe to my channel, that's a massive help. Last week I was moving everything in this studio setup to make more space for the guests for this summer vacation because I'm receiving some members of my family. So I needed to rearrange this setup a little bit so I can have more space whether for me, for my videos, for the computer, for the editing or for the guests on the other side of this bedroom. And I decided to change my camera, my main camera for my YouTube setup. I used this Fujifilm X-H2S maybe for more than one year now and I was really satisfied with the results, I was really satisfied with the image quality. I love this camera but I think it's time for a change. I filmed with this camera more than 70 videos in the last year on YouTube. I made lots of weddings with it, lots of events with it. So this camera served me really well. It's an APS-C stacked sensor. It can shoot 4K 120 frames per second, 10 bit depth video recording, we can shoot in F-Log2, it has great autofocus system, it has a flip out screen, so it's an amazing camera for videos, and we have a full size HDMI port on the side, which is located here. Add to that, this camera has a dual card slot, which is amazing for client works, for your professional work, because you can have your files written on two cards, so you won't miss any file if the memory card is corrupted. And that's something that I really like on professional cameras. It is also weather sealed, even though I don't film and I don't shoot under the rain, but it's a peace of mind to have it in your body. You might ask now why you would like to change this Fuji X-H2S Although you like it a lot, it has all the features that you want in a camera, but why you would like to change it? And the answer is, I have the Fuji X-S20 that I'm using now as a main camera, and this camera is very capable. I was really impressed by the image quality, by its compactness, by the F-Log2, by the colors, by the autofocus, and so on. But the main problem of the X-S20 for client works, for business, is that I cannot shoot in 4K 120 frames per second. I don't have dual card slots. So these are the main downsides of this Fuji X-S20 compared to this Fuji X-H2S in my opinion. Add to that, we don't have the weather ceiling on the X-S20 while we have it on this X-H2S. And since I record my videos in this home studio setup, I don't need the weather ceiling, I don't need the dual card slots, and I don't need the 4K 120 frame per second of this camera. I stick to 4K 25 frame per second for these talking headshots. So I prefer to have this X-H2S free when I want to record some B-rolls, when I have some client works, when I need to record 4K 120. This is the camera to go with. But for my YouTube setup, I think the Fuji X-S20 is more than enough, at least for the upcoming year. I remember that when I bought this Fuji X-S20, I wanted to use it as a main camera for these talking headshots. But I had a problem back then, is that I was not able to access the battery door and the memory card easily because the base plate of the tripod blocks the battery door. And this is a big issue on these cameras. And now I bought the newer cage for this Fuji X-S20 and this problem is solved totally. And this Fuji X-S20 will still here as my main talking headshot camera until we will have maybe the Fuji X-S30 and I hope on the new camera from Fujifilm we will have the memory card on the side and not next to the battery with the same door. So this Fujifilm X-S20 is a great camera, I really love it and it has some emotional values for me because I took the last portrait of my mom with it. So this camera now is priceless. I have it in front of me, which is amazing. I can remember these moments every time I'm recording my videos. 
I'll keep this one, the XH2S on the side so I can make it as a B cam or I can film the B-roll shots with it at 4K 120 frames per second and I'll be using it much easier for my client works. I don't need to take all the cables out, the HDMI, the audio cables, the batteries and so on. I can take it out and start shooting with it outdoors without problems at all. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, like it. That helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's a massive help. Don't forget to check my affiliate links down below. If you purchase via these links, you don't pay extra money, but you help my channel a lot. And thank you for watching. Ciao for now.